How are you today? We're heading outside Sacramento. It's just a real hometown feel. For handmade pies, this thing is smoking hot from a custom-made rig. Wow. Gotta dig this, man. About 35 miles west of Sacramento is a little town called Winners. Now, they're known for great agriculture, especially their walnuts. Now, there's only a handful of restaurants in town, and one of the favorites, is actually the second restaurant that was open here, is knocking them out with wood-fired pizzas and a made-from-scratch menu. This is Puda Creek Cafe. You got a Mediterranean? The best pizza you've ever had in your life. For Charlotte Joe Carter? Homegrown food. Shrimp and heirloom tomato salad. Tastes like you're eating something that was picked this morning. You got a prosciutto pizza? Fred in the kitchen. Such a great job. That'd be Chef Fred Reyes. Western Burger coming up. Who's got 35 years in the biz? Smoked salmon appetizer. From white tablecloth to Joints, green chicken salad, to mom and pops. Trigger coming up. And now he's making his mark on Puda Creek. First thing I thought about, doing everything from scratch as much as possible. And it's working. Pie up on the window. Absolutely divine. Brick chicken. And the fire roasted chicken. It's fantastic. And Fred's scratch made take on a San Francisco classic. Chipino up on the window. Full of seafood. It's a perfect blend. We're going to do the first process of the uh, Chipino homemade fish stock. Fresh fish bones. How about you broken down? Yes, and shrimp shells. I got some lobster paste. Okay. Celery, carrots, onions. Some little mirepoix going in. Parsley stems. Giant parsley. Yes, sir. Fresh garlic, bay leaves, sweet peppercorn, and clam base. Or clam stock. I'm gonna let it simmer. A little gently, a low flame. I'll bring it up to a boil. We're gonna let this simmer for about 25 minutes. Okay. Now we're gonna do the tomato base part of it. Okay. Olive oil, garlic, onions, carrots, bell peppers, chilies, jalapenos, or serranos? Just serranos, celery, parsley stems. Lots of flavor. Mess, Mess of basil. basil. A little oregano, bay leaf, fennel seeds. Very key. Black peppercorn. Sweat that a little bit. I always try and use like a really good wine. If you wouldn't drink it, don't cook with it. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. This will reduce by half. Smells great already. Add some crushed tomato. I'm gonna strain our fish stock right into the chipino. It's serious about this. Give a little stir. Next we'll add a little sherry vinegar, some Worcestershire sauce, Tabasco, kosher salt. Mm, brother. And that'll simmer for about two hours. I'll strain that. All right. Now we're going to put the dish together. 12 ounces of our chipino base. Look how deep and rich that is. Clams first. Little neck clams. Take a little bit longer. Some Dungeness crab, mussels, nice chunks of sea bass, sweet prawns right on top so you don't have to cook. Cover this. Simmer for two or three minutes. Just all those shells open up? Yep. My jowls are starting to sweat. Crabs, mussels, clams, prawns on top, and then the bass, our broth, garlic bread, and sprinkles of parsley, and we're ready to taste. Look at that deep, rich broth. <laughs> Dude, without question, some of the best I've ever had. Awesome. The seafood has to be super fresh, and we're here in Cali, so we're able to get that. It's cooked the right way, but the time and energy you took to make the broth creates the great depth. Completely impressed. Awesome. Chipino. It's delicious. One of the best I've had. Fresh shrimp, just enough spice, but not too hot. Chiapino's working. I've had Chipino all over the country. That one right there has got to be one of the best. Burger with fries. Great people and great food. It just brings the community together. Exactly what owners John Pickerel. Have you had this one before? And his wife, Melanie Bajakian. How are you today? We're going for a place where people could come to meet and come on a frequent basis. Any time of day. Fresh berries and waffle up. The breakfast, my favorite probably. Biscuits and gravy. Homemade sausage is delectable. They make it fresh every day. It's amazing. Okay, brother. Let's do sausage. We're going to start off with a boneless pork butt. Cut it in really thin pieces. Holy Pirates of the Caribbean sword. You like that, Samurai? Okay, so you're going to make that just so you can just drop it right into the feeder. Exactly. And that's all she wrote. So now we're going to chill this. Yes. Grind the spices. Right. Kosher salt. Kosher ground pepper. Dried sage. Loves pork. Granulated garlic. Yep. Dried thyme. Just thyme. Onion. A bit of onion powder. Rosemary. Rosemary. Brown sugar. A little bit of nutmeg. Cayenne pepper. Nice dried chilies. That's a great mix you got, man. Put a little plastic on it. If I don't, then it all goes up here, and then I gotta scrape all that. Sounds first rodeo. We start uh, on a low speed, and work our way up. That uh, is awesome. He's pulverized this into a dust. It's just gonna blend all throughout that pork. Pork has been chilled for about an hour. So now it's got a uniform distribution of all of those seasonings together. Now we'll grind it a second time. This is like pro pork sausage making. Good fat to meat ratio. That's just prime time. Now a cup of ice water. Adding moisture. If not, you'll cook all your fat out and be a little bit on the drier side. And this will hold it right now because it's cold and the water's cold. About a three ounce patty. Good looking patty, man. Now we'll go cook them up. A little olive oil in the pan. Let those cook for a few minutes. Flip them over. That's money. Got some uh, homemade biscuits and homemade country white gravy. Homemade sausage. Look at that. Mm, delicious. The sausage is super moist, not overly seasoned. Killer gravy. Nice and silky. That is great. Biscuits and gravy. A great country gravy. The sausage is amazing. Nice and crispy on the outside and moist on the inside. Biscuits and gravy. It's perfect. You just keep putting it out of the park and out of the oven. Bring, bring it out. Good looking pie from a custom made pizza rig. Wow. Just gotta dig this, man. When we come back. Mm. At Puda Creek Cafe in Winters, California. Is there paella? Veteran Chef Fred Reyes is cooking. Apple with bacon. Inside. Western Burgers coming up. And out. Pizza coming up. Wow, gotta dig this, man. With a custom-made oven for pies like prosciutto and basil. Very good. I definitely recommend it. Classic pepperoni. Pepperoni and cheese. And even herb-seasoned fresh-roasted chicken for this fan favorite. Chicken pizza coming up. The chicken's moist and tender. Chicken pizza. The crust is thin and crispy and perfect. And made totally from scratch. Okay, pizza dough. Give it to me. Start off with our cold water. It's the virgin olive oil, kosher salt, dry yeast. We use a really small amount of yeast, too because 
It's going to be in there for two days, so we don't want the balloon up. With the cold water, the yeast is not starting to grow. Right. Give it a really good mix. We're going to add our flour, a little local whole wheat flour from Woodland, California. Turn this baby on. It goes about 20 minutes. It's pulled away from the bowl. No pulled out. We're going to put it out, then we're going to go right into making our pizza dough balls. Portioning it out to uh, 13 ounces, put it on our pizza trays. Looking good. We're going to go into the walk-in. Okay. These guys have been in the walk-in for two days. A little moist wow. to the touch. They're ready to be rolled out. Dust it. And you do it with a machine versus by hand? We started off this way, like about two or three times through it, because we go through so many and so fast, and I'll stretch it out a little bit, put a little cornmeal on my pie tin. Now we're ready to pop it. Okay. So put some mozzarella, whole milk, oven roasted chicken, not too much. No sauce on this? No sauce. Some uh, spinach that we roasted in the oven, garlic cloves, toasted in a little bit of olive oil, and then provolone will be the last topping. Should have made one for yourself. Ready to go. Set it up. Our seat's a big oven. I've never seen one on a trailer that you tow behind a truck. This thing is smoking hot. 650 on the deck. Should come up in about three minutes. Ready to bring it out? Look at this thing. Really good looking pie. Get a little bit of garlic oil around the edges. Sprinkle some fresh herbs, some freshly grated cheese. Okay. Good looking crust. Mm. I like the spinach. Can't beat the roasted chicken. Great crust. Dynamite pizza oven. Package deal, man. It's across the board. Congrats, brother. Great chicken pizza. The chicken is a little bit salty. The cheese is fabulous. Perfectly crisp. Chicken pizza coming out. Cook this right every time. Biscuits and sausage. It's just a real home town feel. You know what? They really care. They really care about local. They care about the customer. Shrimp and heirloom salad. The quality's there, the flavor's there, and you're just going to enjoy your meal. Evan Rose is picking up. You know how to cook, man. You got your finger on the pulse about how to do it right. I'm impressed. Really impressed. So that's it for this edition of Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. If you want to check out all the recipes from the joints we visit, go to foodnetwork.com, and I'll see you next time on Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives.